Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mousetrap Genius. If you've watched many of our videos at all, you know that there's a lot of ways to humanely get mice and other rodents out of your living space. There's a lot less ways though to keep them from getting in in the first place. In fact, there's only one way that we've ever found that we really completely trust to do that. And that is this guy right here, steel wool. There's a number of drawbacks though with the steel wool that you tend to find in your regular local hardware store or another place like that. For one thing, it's sometimes made out of steel that can rust. And when steel or iron rusts, it gets all over the place. So if you were stuffing this into some crack in your house, hoping that it would keep mice from getting in and doing damage, and then it rusts and leaves this rusted iron oxide stuff everywhere all over everything, that kind of just defeated the purpose of what you were trying to do. It just made more of a mess than you had in the first place. Another drawback tends to be that the steel wool you find at your local hardware store is designed more for scouring or scrubbing or sanding. And so it's finer and not as coarse. And that's great if you want it for sanding, but what if you want it to prevent rodents that have sharp, powerful jaws that make their living by chewing through tough stuff from getting through it? Well, then that's gonna be a problem if it's not coarse enough. It can be hard to find a coarse enough steel wool. And the final problem is, it typically comes in these bales or pads like this, which while well, again, that's great for sanding and scouring, it's not really the most convenient form for fitting around pipes or under ill-fitted doors or things like that that tend to normally happen in your house. So, wouldn't it be great if somebody went and designed a steel wool specifically for people like you and me who wanna use it to keep insects and rodents out of our houses, RVs or trailers or whatever it is we wanna keep them out of. Well, the people over at International Steel Wool have gone and done just that with the pest plug. This is a kit they designed, comes in several variations, ranging from one and a half inch wide steel wool to four inch wide, and you can get it in a variety of lengths. And it's designed specifically for what we wanna use it for. So let's take a look at it here. Well, right off the bat here, it looks like we have a four inch wide, half inch thick roll of steel wool. So we'll go and set that right here. And then they also threw in a one and a half inch wide, half inch thick roll of steel wool, which is uh, good for, you know, narrower places that you need to put this stuff. They also sent us, and we're gonna put these on right now, a pair of safety gloves, which is important whenever you're dealing with steel wool of this type, especially, because this stuff is really, really, aggressive. It's designed to keep even the most vicious and determined rats and squirrels out of your house. And it is coarse, multi-directional, interlocking meshes of stainless steel that won't rust. So it is both tough enough to keep large animals out and a fine enough mesh to keep things like uh, paper wasps or scorpions or other insects like that out of your house. They also sent us an instruction manual and a couple pairs of serrated scissors to cut this stuff with because you also never want to tear stainless steel wool like this because it can cut your hands if you do that. And the great thing is, no matter which variation of the kit you decide to go with, they send you the safety gloves and the steel wool cutting scissors, no matter what. Now let's take a look at this stuff. Comparing it with our regular steel wool that I just got at a local hardware store, this stuff is amazingly tough. In fact, with the gloves on, uh, this stuff feels like a cotton swab compared to this stuff. There's just no comparison. This stuff is thicker, this stuff has tougher bristles, and this stuff is also much more conveniently sized and shaped for using it for the application of 
keeping stuff out of your house. Put this stuff in eaves troughs, put this stuff in the crack under seasonal doors that you don't use during certain times of the year. Put it under uh, ill-fitted garage doors in the unsealed plenum around pipes that go in and out of your house. The, uh, the applications for it are really endless and this stuff is perfectly designed for it. So does this kit have any drawbacks at all? Well, my only complaint, and it's a small complaint, is the serrated scissors that they include are a little bit difficult to use for cutting through this stuff when I tried. It just took me a minute to do it. And it's not a show-stopping problem or anything like that, but the, uh, the serrations on here are just a little bit fine for cutting through how coarse and dense of a wool that this stuff is. So if you happen to have a more aggressively serrated pair of scissors or pliers, or if you can pick a pair up for cheap somewhere, might be worth investing in that. But that is literally my only critique of this kit. It is a great idea and it's well executed, well designed, should go a long ways toward making it easier for people with homes, trailers, shops, RVs, anything like that, that they want to rodent and insect proof in a way that is humane, that is preventative, doesn't involve traps, and is environmentally friendly. You're not using poisons or anything like that that's gonna potentially hurt pets or you know, wash off downstream into the watershed and cause all kinds of problems down there. It is a really quick and effective solution for dealing with pest problems right at the source. And that is the kind of thing that we like to see here on Mousetrap Genius. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I will put the link to all these kits on amazon.com, International Steel Wool lists them all on there for your convenience, right down in the video description. And if you decide to get this for your own house, shop, RV, whatever you want to mouse proof, be honored if you would use our link down there. Don't forget to like Mousetrap Genius on Facebook, and hopefully you're subscribed already on YouTube. But if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and do that because we do upload new videos just about every week in the summertime, a little bit less often than that in the winter. But we got new stuff coming all the time. You don't want to miss it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, have a great pest-free day.